This is the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me when I was couch surfing through Europe. Everyone always thinks that couch surfing, which is like a free version of Airbnb, is super dangerous. Incorrect. This is the weirdest it got, and it wasn't even that weird. Okay, it was kind of weird. So I was in Cinque Terre on the west coast of Italy. I was staying with this like older guy who was an artist. He gave me like his studio to sleep in, to have like a couch in the corner. I'm very paranoid when I go to new people's houses, which is ironic because I also do do this quite a lot. And so I will like turn around all the objects to make sure if anyone's got a camera there, they are turned the wrong way. Anyway, so I'm like settling in and I like to make sure I cook them a meal just to say thank you for letting me stay for free. And so I decided to cook him banana pancakes for breakfast. And then his cleaner comes over with her little like cleaning cart. While I'm cooking breakfast, I'm like doing my thing, mashing up a banana. Also, he has no food in his fridge. That is really weird. Not even milk. He's still in bed. And so I bring him the pancakes. And his door was like 45 degrees open. So it was like inviting me in. And his cleaner was like on top of him in bed. I was like, well, that's a weird place for a cleaner to peek. I was like, oh, shoot, I'll just make you both pancakes. Hold on, let me leave these here and go make some more. <laughs> Freaking out. So then I'm like cooking another set of pancakes being like, maybe she's, what's, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, made her pan pan pancakes, then deliver them, then go out to the Cinque Terre for the day. I'm just like, oh my gosh, awkward. Anyway, next day happens, wake up, and the cleaner's there again with a cleaning outfit. I'm like, hey, hey you. Jokes, we don't speak the same language, so I don't even remember what we said. <laughs> and the same thing happened again. But this time the door was completely open and she was on top of him. And then I worked out she was a cleaning prostitute. But the door was always open. So then I left. And I made sure to set my couch surfing limits to be people underneath 30. No offense to people who are 40, but if you're 40 and accepting young girls into your house, you might just be a little bit lonely or creepy or I don't know. I don't want to generalize, but that's just my experience. Okay.